but in Nigeria, both cow, goat, ram, chicken, dog, cat, everybody will enter the same bus and you'll be squashed. As in the smelly, the neat, the clean, you'll be squashed the wonderful. Hey guys, first story time ever. Um, let me do let me know if you like it and I'll do more because I actually do have a lot of stories to share. So the first time I jumped on TFL. So TFL over here is Transport for London. That's the public transport, like bus, train, tram, anything. Anything transport is all under TFL, right? So, <laughs> sorry, I'm already laughing. So the first time we got on the bus, before we got on the bus, my mom bought us a child ticket because we were kids then. And she said to us, you know, don't touch, just show the driver and you go in. And they to me, I'm, I'm me, I'm stubborn and I like to experience, experiment. So I was like, ah, why shouldn't I touch? And then we got, the bus came, we are waiting. In Nigeria, everybody, down for you, rushing. This one, there was queue. Ah, okay. Everybody's a queue. We're waiting for the bus. The bus arrives. Everyone's going in one at a time. No pushing, no rushing. Ah, I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> this one is, I was like, this is nice. And then as everyone was going in, I was hearing, do -do -do, do -do -do, like, everything. You touch the oh, it's the card, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm liking the sound of this. My mother has told me I should not touch my ticket. It's a paper ticket, lazy. I got on the bus. What did I do? I touched. <laughs> I touched it. <laughs> it did not make any sound. The driver, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> the driver looked at me like, girl, move on, move on along. My mom was like, did I? <laughs> oh, African Nigerian parents. <laughs> My mother said it in a language, you're back. She me, so for any, did I not tell you? Move along. So we went in. And then poor me, obviously in Nigeria, ah, we are used to lapping each other on downfall. You carry yourself so you save money. <laughs> I got it. My brother got in and I <laughs> sits on their own I was like wow <laughs> almost <laughs> I sat down I felt like a queen I was like damn is this life <laughs> I, I said I was like wow <laughs> and then I just said everyone, everyone was doing their own thing on the bus and I was like wow there was so much space <laughs> we were not cramped <laughs> We're not cramped in the bus. I was so used to downfall. You know, if if you're Nigerian, you know what I'm trying to say. But for the non-Nigerians, it's like let's say a minivan, yeah, and then everyone like it's like a minivan, and then they put like four rows of seats, and this minivan can carry over. Not trying to exaggerate, over what thirty passengers, and it's only meant to take maybe 20 or 15 if I'm being real but yeah it will take up to 30 because you know people will lap or like sit on each other that's what we call lapping you lap on each other and everything and over there over here was so different there was enough space and when the bus was full like it literally just drove past and didn't let anyone in and it was fine I was like hey in Nigeria the driver will stop in fact, if he can carry person on top of the roof of the motor, he will do it because he needs that money. I was super, super shocked <laughs> on how different it was and it felt nice. And I wish <laughs> and I pray <laughs> Nigeria gets to the level where we get to sit on our own and the boss, like kids, even kids and the grown people just get to sit on their own. But yeah, no, it was, uh, it was, I was just, it was, it was really nice. And then we finally got our Easter card. Yay. 
and I think I still I think I still have my Oyster card. Make sure you subscribe. I think I still have all my Oyster cards. I'll show you in another video if you guys want to see. But yeah, that's my story <laughs> of the first time I ever jumped on TFL. That's the red bus, London bus. Yay, London bus. <laughs> okay, guys, I know this was a short <laughs> story. I don't know why I wanted to share this, but it was just in my head and I thought, you know, let me share it for anyone who just wants to hear it. The difference between Nigerian transportation and England. I mean, there is a lot of difference. Like, okay, now let, let me, I've said my story, the difference. So the difference between Nigeria transportation downfall and TFL Red Bus, um, you queue up to get on the bus over here. Nigeria first come first serve. Um, you don't. It's, it's a cashless society. It's Oyster Card. I mean, before we were able to like pay if you didn't have your Oyster Card or your Oyster Card ran out of money. But now it's completely cashless, like Oyster Card or contactless. That's it. Um, Everyone sits on their own, no lapping. I mean, except your child is under one and you're carrying your baby or your best video or something. Apart from that, everyone sits on their own. The bus has a capacity, as in, if it has reached that cap that level, it has reached that capacity, no more. That's it. Even when there's space for people to stand, they don't feel it's safe for people to stand. So they don't, like, stand it. There's an amount of people that can stand on the bus and that's it. No more. When the bus is done, that's it. It's shut. It just keeps going. If you have to get off, you get off. And no one comes in. Literally. But in Nigeria, both cow, goat, ram, chicken, dog, cat, everybody will enter the same bus and you'll be squashed. As in the smelly, the neat, the clean. You'll be squashed in one downfall. Yeah. And then what else is the difference? What other difference? The buses are big. TFL is big, Nigeria is downfall, you're stuck with a downfall. Even when I can't even think of a big bus you can get, apart from like when you're traveling from city to city, that's when you get like the mini buses. But apart from that, it's the vans, the mini vans you get in Nigeria. And yeah, you, no one touches you, like you're not squashed. The main thing is like you're not squashed and in Nigeria it's hot. So imagine 40 people in a minivan on a sweaty day. Yeah, it's not cute, it's not nice, but what can they do? It is what it is. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you've managed to watch it all the way to this point and you haven't subscribed, I mean, what are you waiting for? Turn that red to gray and join my family. For now, guys, you know, leave a comment, like, and share with anyone, you know, who wants to know about our transportation mode in London. Not that you care, but I just thought I'll share it. And yeah, for now, remain blessed. And if you want to hear more story times from me, just let me know in the comment down below and I'll be sharing plenty, plenty more. There's plenty more to say. I just, I don't know. I've, I'm in the mood to just share my story because it's funny. And I've, I've had funny, I've, I've, we've had good, bad, ups, down. I mean, who doesn't? But there's always a difference. And trust me, sometimes I miss home. Not even sometimes, most times I miss home. But yeah, what can we do? Eh? It's a pandemic. See you in the next video. <laughs>